Hello everybody, my name is David Tracy and I am Fraser's Compliance and Technical Solutions Manager. I am here inside the interior of one of our latest stroke units for Ohio Health. Um, this is one of our latest ones. We've got all sorts of different features in here that I think are really cool. We have a complete in-touch telemedicine system. So what we have here is an in-touch telemedicine monitor, it's an in-touch express, and this is the actual video monitor that will show the doctor's face directly to the patient. Um, we also have a microphone, speakers, and a camera on here as well, so the patient can have direct access to the doctor and talk to them, uh, and the doctor can see the patient, no problem. Uh, there's a few other peripherals that get added onto this system right here. We have a PTZ camera or a pan, tilt, zoom camera. The doctor can control where this camera points, and they can point it directly at the patient. They can zoom right into the patient's eyes if they need to. They can look all around the unit for all sorts of different clues and whatnot to help their treatment. Uh, one other feature that we have is a directional microphone that's right up here on the ceiling. This microphone is pointed right at the patient's face um, and it picks up exactly everything that the patient's saying. So if we've got a quiet patient who's not talking really loud, you've got a lot of other stuff going on around the unit, uh, the doctor can hear this, uh, the patient through this microphone and the software on the doctor's side of it is kind of blending this microphone with the general one that's right here. The doctor can also pick between the two different microphones if they want to, um, to hear the nursing staff um, and the different neurologists and CT techs that are on the unit, or they can focus more on the patient if they want. It's all completely up to the doctor. Uh, it's a pretty cool system, pretty flexible, um, allows the neurologist on the other end to get all the information that they need uh, to make a proper clinical diagnosis. One of the other cool features uh, that we have in this unit, if you look down here uh, on either wall, We've got three captain's chairs in this unit. Uh, we do not have our typical squad bench. Um, this, it's usually over here on the passenger side wall. So we can fit a total of three belted people in this, in this unit. Um, these two captain's chairs uh, will slide forward and back uh, to allow the provider to get closer to the patient. <clears throat> and then they also are able to tilt uh, to make it more comfortable for the providers. This one right here uh, is a little bit different than the others. While it still slides forward and back to get closer to the patient, it also has a swivel mechanism right here <clears throat> to allow the provider to face rearward and get some work done on the computer that will be mounted right here. Now one thing that's unique about this workstation right here, not only am I in a you know, rear facing position, which is a little bit safer than if I'm facing toward the aisle, I can also bring this laptop that will be in this mount a lot closer to me by pulling this entire top right here. Gets it in a much more comfortable place. I can be working on my laptop that's here, or I can tilt this out of the way. I've got some workspace here as well. So this can slide all the way back here. And then if necessary, um, I can share this laptop. I can kind of spin it around and let the provider sitting in the rear seat use this, um, and we can kind of share notes and all that sort of stuff. One other unique thing uh, about this unit, you'll notice uh, kind of hanging to my left, and you've seen it uh, both in the cab and back here, are these Firecom headsets. Now these are connected to chargers right here <clears throat> that unplug. So these are wireless headsets. There are seven of them on this unit. There are three in the back here, one for each seated position. Um, they just, you just put them on in your head like this. And then when they're turned on, I can talk to anybody else through these headsets. I also have speakers here on the front to hear the patient and people who don't have headsets right in my ears. Um, something else that's really cool, I can be talking to any of the four people that are up in the cab at the same time. They can be hearing me, um, or we can talk to each other, they can tell me what driving conditions there are, and I can also be relaying patient information forward uh, in case there's anything important uh, that the driver would need to know in case they need to do anything differently. Uh, so we've got these all throughout, and all seven of them also have the ability to transmit on this radio. Uh, which is pretty cool. So any of the providers can call forward to um, the dispatch center, communication center, any sort of patient conditions, anything like that. Um, so I think that's a, a, a pretty cool feature. And again, there's seven of them around. So there's, a, there's a, a lot of versatility and a lot of people can be communicating with each other all at the same time.